A. Identify the characteristics of arts and crafts in the highland and lowland of Luzon. Appreciates the uniqueness of arts and crafts of highland and lowland of Luzon. C. Creates a simple design craft can be locally assembled with local traditional techniques. Ilocos Region Architecture Bigan, considered as the Intramuros of the North, retains the Spanish colonial architecture along its narrow and cobblestone street known as Cali Crisologo. These old Spanish-type houses have huge High-pitched roofs, large and rectangular living rooms that are made of adobe, bricks, lime, terracotta, hardwood floors, and windows of copy shells framed in wooden window panels. So this is the example of their houses. Textile Enabel Inabil is a hand-waving technique of the Ilocanos that is produced using tradi traditional wooden looms. The different designs represent different meaning. The dizzying binacol wave represents the waves of the sea. Of the sea. They believe that this design protects them from bad spirits. Inabil designs are inspired by natural elements colors of flowers and vegetation, played, zigzags, animal patterns, the ocean waves, or the glittering the ocean waves, or the glittering night sky. So this is the example of Inabel. Pottery. Borni is an unglazed earthen jar with small opening. It is used for storage for water, rice grains, container for salt, brown sugar, basi or local wine, and baguong or fermented fish. The potters mix fine gravel, sun ashes, and fire the clay to make the borne heavy and sturdy. The designs are simple. Sometimes curved curb patterns can be found around the sh shoulders of the jar. They also prick the jar with a stick while it is still soft to make the surface more interesting. So this is the example of Borne. Pangasinan Pangasinan weaving The art and craft of Pangasinan include the smoothly woven bulinaw mats made from buri or raffia leaves and the bamboo crops or baskets or furniture of San Carlos. Cordillera Administrative Region or CER Kalinga Kalinga Textile The natives of Kalinga are skilled weavers. One of their finished product is their textile which is characterized by red black geometrical patterns. So this is the example of their textile. The Southern Kalinga women wear the wrap around skirt or tapis called kain, which reaches below the knee. The Northern Kalinga wear saya, an ordinary woman's skirt covering the body from waist to feet. The color used in their textiles have cultural meaning. Red signifies bravery, black is for the soil or land, white is for flowers for the coffee trees, yellow for the sand, and green for the mountains. Basket tree. The Kalinga shows their fine craftsmanship. The Laba is a bowl-shaped basket, basket made from rattan with size that vary from 20 top 150 cm in diameter. So this is the example of their basket. So the, it is called lava. Lava. Tattooing. 
Tattooing is another form of the kalinga because it usually covers the chest and arms. It may be considered as clothing and decoration. It also signifies a rite of passage from youth to adulthood, a mark of heroism and bravery and one status in the community. Wang Ud is the last Mamba Batok or traditional Kalinga Tato artist. She uses a mixture of charcoal and water that is tapped in onto the skin through a thorn ends. So this is the example of Wang Ud and Tattoo. So that's the the tattoo ear. Efugao. The term Efugao means natives of the Cordel Cordillera. Sculpture. The ball all is a wooden sculpture that represents the rice granary spirits. It is used in rituals that are performed to call the ancestors to protect their rice fields from pestilence and to ask for an abundant harvest. It is made of Nara tree, which signifies wealth, happiness, and well-being to the Epogao. So, this is the example of their sculptures. Ling Ling O or Dinomog Ling Ling O or Dinomog, the amulets of Epogao. These are made from jet, gold, copper, bronze, stone, and other materials. And there, these are fertility symbols worn around the neck. So this is the example of their amulets. Mountain Province Mountain Province known for its hanging coffins and mummy feed bodies. They employed special burial techniques that could equal the techniques of mummification in ancient Egypt. The province is also known for their Kadangyan or boreal cloth for rich people. Tattoo art is another form of folk, folk arts in mountain province. Tattoo is a part of clothing and it is considered decoration. The people of Buntuk are also skilled weavers. They weave different textiles from blankets to clothing. Men's traditional attire is called Wains. The women use a short and narrow wrap around skirt called low feed. So this is the examples of uh, men's uh, clothing and buntok. Ginas Palawanis. Ginas Palawanis type of built married woman of buntok and can canai and dyeing the threads to prepare the patterns before they are woven into textile. So this is the examples of a built a built for married women. Ikat Ikat the process of tying and dyeing the threads to prepare the patterns before they are woven into textile. So this is the example of ikat. Abra Textile The Tingonians wave textiles for clothes and blankets. They are known for their white textiles with horizontal stripes found in the edge, like those in the bancudo or wrap around skirt or vertical stripes in the, in the center. Arts and Crafts of Cagayan Valley and Central Luzon Cagayan Valley is in the north west, northeastern part of Luzon. It is irrigated with the waters from Cagayan River, the longest river in the country, and is composed of the province of Batanes, Cagayan, Isabela, Nueva Vizcaya, and Quirino. Batanes The Ivatans are the people living in the Batanes group of islands. Their houses have unique architectural forms made up of limestones, walls, reed, and cogon ropes. 
The design and materials are chosen because they are strong enough to numerous typhoon and earthquakes that hit the group of islands because of its geographic location. Vakol is a headgear used by the Ivatan women to protect them from the heat of the sun and the rains. The men wear suot, a rain cafe made from prunts that covers the upper part of the body down from the neck. Batanis limestone wall and kogun rope. So this is the examples of their houses. Next is headgear. So this is the example of their headgear. Isabela. Isabela is one of the largest province in the Philippines located in Cagayan Valley region. It is host to a number of historical sites. Tomawini Church is a Roman Catholic parish church of San Matias Apostol. It is made from red bricks ornamented with carving of flowers, leaves, escalopes, saints, religious symbols, and other fa fanciful motifs. So this is the example of their church. Nueva Vizcaya. Nueva Vizcaya is located near Ipugao, Binguet, and Querino. The gadangs of Nueva Vizcaya are for their crops and textiles. One of the clothes they make is the bakwat, a belt used by mothers after giving birth. This cloth is usually adorned on the central portion with white beads as ac accents embellished in a pattern that represents rivers and mountains. Central Luzon, Bulacan. Bulacan arts and crafts include the singbakan, pastillas wrapper, firecrackers, and goldsmithing in Mikawayan. The women cut intri intricately designed pastillas wrappers adorned with different linear curvilinear and geometric designs that defect local florals, floras, and scents of everyday rural life. So this is the example of pastillas wrappers. Next is sinkaban. Sinkaban is the local term for bamboo arc designed with kayas or wood shaving. These are used as decorative arc that adorn the entrance of a barangay or town during festas and other grand celebrations. So this is the example of Singkaban. Next is Mikawayan. Mikawayan Bulacan is known for its jewelry industry, craftsmen, fashion trinkets from precious metals such as gold and silver, and precious and semi-precious stones, pearls, and diamonds. Pampanga Pampanga is known for its giant lanterns or parol. Its special feature is its dancing lights in several shapes and colors that inform intricate geometric patterns. A famous gate, Spanish gate. The San Andres Apostol Parish Church of Masinlac, Sambales, known for the use of coral stones instead of adobe, and it was founded by the Augustinian Recollects in 1607. The front of the church is divided into the triangular pediment, two horizontal section, sections and three vertical ones. The left portion extends dead to form the bell tower. So this is the example of their church. Next is the Paris of the Three Kings in Gapan City. It is one of the biggest and the oldest church in Weba Ezea. This Roman Catholic church was built in 1800s. It, wa it has huge side doorways, two standing image of their patron sent on both sides of the doorways and a mural of the Holy Trinity on a ceiling, all of which are characteristics of Western architecture. So this is, their, this is their church. 
Next is Abokai Church or St. Dominic de Guzman Paris Church, established in 1587 and, and, and administered in 1588 by the Dominicans, is an example of Renaissance architecture because of its bare vertical single or double divided columns and triangular pediments. So this is the example of their church. The Arts and Crafts of Calabarzon and Bicol Region Laguna Laguna is a province with lakes and mountains, rich in natural resources and fertile soil for farming. Paiti, one of the town in Laguna, is famous of, for its wood carving and it's considered as the wood carving capital of the Philippines. The local term for carving is ukit or carving. Rizal Province, Aguno in Rizal Province, is considered as a part capital of the Philippines because of the town's rich artistic expression that includes music, painting, sculpture, and folk arts. The town is also known for its gigantes. The gigantes are a big paper mat machi figure composed of the father, mother, and a child measuring between 7 to 10 feet. So this is the example of their uh, giganti. Next is Taal Batangas. Taal Batangas is famous for producing embroidery, pine fabric made from the fibers of pineapple and woven into a costly fabric used for piña barong wedding gowns, and other formal attires, the borda called calado. Balisong Balisong is also known as a butterfly knife. It is name is derived from bali, the Filipino term for broken, and songay, which means horn. Batangas is considered as the balisong capital of the Philippines. Batangueño blacksmiths have gained such renown for the quality of their workmanship that Hollywood pr producers employ them to create props for big budgets. Quezon The town of Lukban is famous for the Pahias Festival celebrated on the 15th of May to honor San Isidro Labrador, the patron saint of farmers. During the festival, the town's people decorate their houses with products and colorful thin rice wafer called keeping. It is glutinous rice that is thinly coated on mature leaves and steam over low fire. Next is Bicol Region. Bicol Region is among the art and crafts of the Bicol Region include baskets, bags, slippers, coin, por porces, and other craft that are made from abaca and raffia fibers. Okay, thank you so much. So, any clarifications about our topic this afternoon? So, if you have uh, time, you just visit uh, our e-learning at www.guide.com. Thank you.